Hello. 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 Air signs. I am calling all Capricorns, Taurus, and Virgos. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Okay. Because when I was channeling this message, this is the song that popped up. Don't get me wrong. I love this song. I really do. I like it a lot. Um, <laughs> but uh, what y'all doing? And then the theme from your passed on loved ones. Because that's who I'm channeling. The passed on loved ones. Your family doesn't like your mate. So what? And then this song come playing. What y'all doing? Let's get into this. Okay. Real quick. Before we get into the nitty gritty. Because you know I want to get into the nitty gritty. Real quick. Um, let me let you know who I am. I am Indigo Sage. An Awakened Soul. I do have a spiritually based website. At unapologeticallysage.com You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook under Unapologetically Sage. What I want to do right now is sage out this love reading y'all got me sitting up here listening to blame it on the how. What's going on with y'all? Okay. And then y'all talking about the relatives. Who cares? Or something like that. Your family doesn't like your mate. So what? Honey. Let's let's get this started. Let's sage this out. Real quick. I feel like I'm at a party. The strength is Queen of Pentacles. Beautiful card. Especially in the strength position, okay? Stability. Domestic comfort. The clarifier is ten of pentacles in reverse. That says stop searching for your family's approval of your partner and maintain your boundaries. Yes. Yes. Let me tell you something. Your strength... Okay, so see... They telling you some stuff that you don't want to hear. And it's not just simply what you don't want to hear. They don't even know what they're talking about. Your past own loved ones told me to tell you. They don't even know what they're talking about. But here's your problem. You be trying to explain. Stop it. You don't have to play. You you don't have to explain shit. Okay, let's continue. So the weakness is five of wands. That represents some jealousy. Competing for attention. You feel like you're competing for attention in this relationship. And it does not help that the clarifier is the six of pentacles you feel taken advantage of. That's not cool. That's not cool. Now that's the weakness. So with this being the weakness, you really, this is the time to examine, is this real? Because see, they're not telling me that it's real. They're not saying it's, it's not real. They're not telling me either. What they're, Your ancestors are telling me this is how you feel. I want you to understand there's a difference. So see, here's the difference. Sometimes I get messages and the weakness where they say this is the weakness. In this case, they're saying the weakness is how you feel. You feel jealous. Your jealousy makes you feel like you have to compete for your partner's attention. Your jealousy makes you feel like you are being taken advantage of. So it's a big difference between your past on loved ones giving a clear message and saying this is what it is versus this is how you feel. 
Now, also, I need you to understand this. I'm not saying that it doesn't happen or that it doesn't exist. It's just that what they're saying is this is how you feel. And you feeling that way is a weakness. It's in the weakness position. So what that means is you need to re-examine. You need to you need to examine it, dive on in. You know what? I need to leave the um, I I and A A, which is an introspective look into yourself. You need to examine yourself on why you feel this way, and what that's gonna end up happening. What that's gonna make happen is that that can become a strength once you dive into yourself and see why you have this jealousy why do you feel like in this relationship you are competing for for attention now either that has to do with only you or your partner is making you feel that way either way you need to address it so that it's not a weak spot anymore when you address it it's no longer weak you understand what I'm saying when you address it it's no longer weak. So if it's you, you got to fix what's in you. I call it the chill and heal. And if it's something your partner's doing, you definitely need to speak up about it. You can't have weak spots in your relationship. Not if you want a strong and healthy one. Okay? And then it's clarified by you feel taken advantage of. So... Again, same thing. That can be something just in you, the way you feel. Could be something you are internalizing. Or it could very well be your partner doing something to make you feel that way. Either way, to take this stuff out of the weakness. Because see, your past on loved ones is saying this is how you feel. And that concerns me because you feel this way that kind of tells me that like you're keeping it private and that it could when they say that you feel this way instead of them telling me that this is the weakness of of the relationship and they're just simply saying that you feel this way that's in your mind which means there's a potential that it's only in your mind and not actually real. They are not saying that that's, you know, the case because some of you listening right now, it most definitely could be your partner who is making you feel like you are in competition, but will deny it when you talk to them about it. And tell you and tell you that that's all in your mind. So okay, this is how they pulling it together. Okay, all right. So some of you have a partner who's gonna tell you it's all in your head, and then some of you it is all in your head. To get clarity, I suggest you look in the description box below for a reading. All right, but let's continue. Let's continue. There's more. Here we are at direction. The direction of this relationship is for. Of wands, which represents security, harmony, and family. That is the direction your past on loved ones are telling me very clearly. If you want to keep it like that, you need to speak up. That's what they said. So, security, harmony, and family. That's beautiful. Clarifier is five of cups, reversed. And... I've said this sometimes, don't know if you guys remember or recall, but not all reversals are bad. And I definitely don't want anyone listening to me who's a subscriber, a sagey, to think that all reversals are bad. A lot of them are, not all of them. All right. <laughs> this five of cups reversed is not bad. It means you are the relationship is rising up the rising up is inevitable 
Overcoming past challenges in romance. Hello. Okay. I already knew. When I saw that Five of Cups reversed, I said, go ahead. Okay. Go ahead with your bad self. And it's clarifying security, harmony, and family. That's good. But they keep on emphasizing. They told me to calm down. They told me to calm down. Okay. <laughs> they they keep um, highlighting and emphasizing that you need to deal with uh, what it is we just talked about. See, I don't like to harp on stuff. That jealousy. They're saying that jealousy. You need to deal with that. Um, if you... Okay, so if you want clarity on... Because you may not even have nothing to be jealous of. I don't even know what you're jealous of. But you can get a reading from me. I got reasonable prices. Shit. Ooh, excuse me. I cussed. 50% off for, for the first, um, very first reading. But, um, because they saying you want to know. If you want to know, just hit, the, the information is in the description box, okay? I help people every day, all day. Um, but the direction is security. But they, they keep on wanting me to say... If you heal the jealousy part, because you're not going to, oh, okay, all right. The only way it can come from jealousy to security is if you heal the jealousy. And there are some things that, like, you think, but you don't know. You don't even know. It's just stuff you think. And you have a potential to... Okay, they're telling me a lot at the same time. When they do that, I have to pause. Because this message, they're breaking it up in pieces, okay? So the way this goes is, for some of you, you have nothing to worry about. You think you do, but you don't. But you think you do. They keep saying that. You think you do, but you don't. You think you do, but you don't. Oh, they told me to announce again. You get... (laughs) Can I give readings? <laughs> My readings, it'll clarify all of that. <laughs> I'm not going to announce my sale. They want me to announce my sale. All right. They need to knock it off. Um, okay, so we're going to split this up. So some of you think something's happening, but it's not. And you need clarity. So you probably should get a reading from me. All right. Then the next group... Um. You 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 feel this way for a reason. You do have a reason to feel this way. Like something actually is happening to where because some the first group, you guys, it's all in your head. The first group. And now I'm talking to the second group. You do have a like it's not all in your head, but you shouldn't be having jealousy. Like it may be this person's daughters, maybe they have children. You know what I'm saying? And you, you feel like you're fighting for um, attention with his kids or her kids. He, her, doesn't matter. They're saying, you're, well, the ancestors right now, they're telling me it's a woman. You are jealous and fighting for attention between this man's children. If that's... Oh, leaving you hanging? Why do they keep saying that? Leaving you hanging. You feel like he left you hanging or something for his children? If you want clarity, you need to get a reading from me. All right. And then the third group. Mm. Um, They just left on the third group. Oh, we. The third group. Uh, why they leave me like this? You're probably jealous for a real, like, bona fide reason. Anyway, moving right along. Um, the direction, what's available. So now they're going to make me explain it like this security and harmony and family, clarified by Five of Cups reverse, which is the rising up. Is inevitable overcoming past challenges in romance. 
Here we are at the advice, and it is two of swords upright. Who's blocking? Who is blocking? Don't allow family to make a choice for you in your relationship. Clarify by the Ten of Cups reversed. Clarify by the Ten of Cups reversed. You know what that means? Meddling relatives. So who have, who's blocking, honey? First of all, when I saw it, I'm like, yeah, probably the family. And then as I dug into the message, the message is don't allow family to make a choice for you in your relationship. And then they further clarify it by the reverse Ten of Cups. Okay, that's a big hit. Because the Ten of Cups upright is a beautiful family. And then that they flipped it on, on top of its head. And that means meddling relatives. Don't allow them to do that to you. If you're happy, you're happy. You already know what you gotta... Work. Let me tell you something. That's actually an insult to you. You should feel like you're insulted. Because... They're... They're trying to tell you what to do. Are they listening to you? Because I'm sure you open up your mouth and you talk. And say stuff. When they say stuff, you say stuff. Are they listening to you? But we have one more message specifically for future reference from your past on loved ones. So let's go there. So here is where I call upon your past on loved ones for a section that I've named for future reference, okay? So this is just a message for future reference that I ask of them. Your, for future reference, message is see only love. Look past the seeming errors, mistakes, and misunderstandings and see only the love within each person, including yourself. Your resolute focus upon the love that underlies every situation brings about healing in undreamed of ways. I am so glad that I caught myself before I was saying what I was saying in the the part before, but it still would go with this. They love you, and so your relatives who are <laughs> Talk blocking. <laughs> blocking feels like a blocking. Feels like they're telling you you could do better or they're not good enough or something. I don't know what they're telling you, okay? Only you know what they're telling you. But your past on loved ones is telling me to tell you to like understand that your relatives or relative, like it could be sister, they said sister. They show me two women. So there's a person, a girl, a woman who's listening to this message, whose sister is telling her that, oh, they said you can do better. Understand. So first of all, don't. OK, OK, they're going too fast now. <laughs> it's funny when I pick up one person, because there's a lot, a lot of past on levels that talk to me and I be asked I ask for like the general high message and then when I focus on one then it goes real fast um so they want you whoever this is don't end your your don't oh lord okay don't not talk to your sister because of this don't do that your relatives are telling you right now to understand and I'm even getting ready to turn this music off they're saying you need to understand she's speaking to you out of love you're not feeling it you're not hearing it they said you're not here for it but just stop being hard headed and understand that she's talking to you out of love oh she's your older sister 
She's your older sister. So she's like, it's like out of love and protection. So understand that, first of all. So get out your feelings. Get out your feelings and understand that. Then what you need to do is stand up for yourself because you feel insulted. Because she's treating you like you don't know any better. Like a doe, saying like, doe like a deer. Like a doe. Like, um, like an innocent, like, you feel like she sees you, oh, your whole family sees you, like you're young or something. Spanish, you're Hispanic? Okay. Um, they really, oh my goodness, they coming through like, this is a reading. This ain't a reading, reading. Um, you need to stand up for yourself. They see you as a young deer. I'm sorry. I don't. There's no other way I can say it, unless you go ahead and dive into um, <laughs> the description box below for wh whomever this may be resonating with. You don't have to say anything in the comments. I'm used to it. Just go ahead and um, hit me up in the description box below. But um, yeah, and for everyone, everyone who's listening to this. Um, they don't mean any harm, okay? So your ancestors, your past on loved ones want you to see this as um, they're, they're speaking to you through love. So don't get angry. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no need to get angry. But you do need to stand up for yourself because they are, it is an insult to you because they, they are trying to tell you what to do in your own relationship. So you do need to stick up for yourself, okay? Because that is an insult because you should be grown enough. If you're listening to this message, you're grown enough to know what it is you like, love, and care about, okay? And they need to respect that. Let's continue. Now, I would like to say real quick that I do sell magnets. And they are only $4. No tax. No shipping and handling. I eat the price. Of the shipping and handling and the tax because my goal is just simply to spread love and light seriously so they measure at four by five five by four you know you don't even need glasses to see it this is a wonderful um, just because gift like to your mom or or Tia um, <laughs> I don't know why I'm feeling Spanish right now um, I took two, maybe three years of it, but anyway, um, just to, it's, it's a good just because gift because it lets a person know that you're thinking about them and it's so wonderful to do it when there's no reason, not their birthday, not mother's day, not Christmas things. No, just, just out of the blue. Okay, and I cannot tell you how much a person feels so special when you do that type of thing for them. So this is just a perfect gift for anyone who is just that special in your life. Okay, because it's more than a hug. I know we hug them and we tell them, I love you. I love you, Thea. You know, like, you know, I know we do that. Um, but and I'm not saying I'm Spanish. You know what? I said we. Because I, honey, let me tell you something. I got friends and family of all races, but I am African American. I'm not trying to make it seem like I'm um, Hispanic, but what I'm saying is, I don't care what race I am. I'm saying I love you, Thea. Um, I know what that means. Um, my point is that I have lots of different magnets. They are they measure five by four. You don't even need your glasses to read them. And they're only $4 straight out the door. So, um, they are a wonderful just, I was thinking about you today gift. All right, let's continue. So, right here is where I am going to ask and explain. But I'm going to ask that you guys click like, subscribe, and the bell to be notified for whenever I do another reading. But also, let me say this. 
The reason why it's so important that you click like and subscribe in this session is because if it resonated with you, it's on you to click subscribe because the way it works, let me tell you the way it works, the way this bank account is set up, no, but the way it's set up is I pull in the energy of the collective. The collective are the people who click like and subscribe. So the way that's going to work the next time I am pulling in this energy, okay, if you click like and subscribe, that's the energy I'm pulling on. So it'll be yours. It'll be more inclusive, especially if this resonated with you. And I encourage you, even if it didn't resonate, go ahead and jump in the pool with us. Okay? <laughs> That's how it works. All right? I love you all, and I wish you all a very, very well week. And please be safe. Wash your hands. All right. Bye-bye.